Hello everybody and welcome back to Crossplay Gaming. My name is Eric if you're new to the channel. And in this video, we are going to be doing an unboxing because just today, it looks like my Steam Deck has arrived. There it is. And uh, there's the dock for it, so we'll also be unboxing that. So let's go ahead and get started. I hope you'll join me. Alrighty, so to get started here, let's take a look at the Steam Deck. Let's cut the uh, tape on here. Alright. I'll keep it so that you guys can get a better look at it here. Attention! Okay, so got some instructions there as we open. Now I know it comes with a case. I guess it comes packed in the case. Interesting. So, a little peeling. All right. Your games are going places. Clever. Okay. Slide it out of there. Get a little bit of a look at it. Very cool. It's great that they include this. All right, it's got uh, a few things here. Oh, comes with a little bag. Comes with a strap here. All right, let's unzip it. Okay. Ooh, and there it is. Let's pull it on out of there. Gorgeous. Comes with a little cleaning cloth, which is nice. And that's everything that's in the pouch. But here we go. There's the Steam Deck. Gorgeous. Now I did get the, uh, there was a 20% off sale on the 512 gigabyte one. And that comes with uh, the anti-glare screen, which is very nice. Um, that does make me wonder if it will completely ruin that if I put a, uh, a screen cover on it. I'm not sure. Maybe there's like an anti-glare screen cover. The only question I would have is if the uh, stickiness of the screen cover would ruin the uh, anti-glare on the screen itself. I'm not sure, I'll have to look into that. Make sure you comment below if you know anything about that. But there you go, there it is. I believe this is the uh, power supply. Now here this isn't the longest cord ever. It does look okay. All right, and there you go. I do actually have a magnetic battery that goes on the back, which I ordered, which should be coming tomorrow. So that'll be nice for travel. So this is a decently long cord. Um, not bad, not bad. There we go. All right. And up next, we have the dock. And this is the official Valve dock. It's more expensive than some of the third-party docks, but it was slightly on sale. So I figured the compatibility is probably a little bit better, so I'd go ahead with the official one. Here we go. Right. Let's see. Sort of slides out with the cardboard, I guess. Oh, I see. There it is. And then underneath here, we have another very similar uh, power connector to the one that comes with the Steam Deck right there. But that goes to the dock. All right. And then underneath the plastic, we have the instruction manual right there. All right, so there we have it. Hey, future Eric here. It's actually been a few days since I recorded the initial unboxing, but I didn't really get a chance to edit it yet. But fortunately that means that that battery accessory that I mentioned has come. And so I'll do a little bit of an unboxing of that as well. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. And there we have it. As you can see, it's actually designed for the Steam Deck, even though it is third party. So let's pop that open. Ooh, it's a beefy one. That is a nice big battery. And then we have cords right there. And then we have the uh, shell piece that goes outside of the Steam Deck. All right, so let's take it out. And we will pop on the uh, battery piece here and you need to wrap it around the bottom first, I believe. And then the top pops over. 
there we go. So it doesn't doesn't show up very much, but you can see it sort of goes around the vents right there, which is nice. And then here's a very strong magnet apparently, but let's take the battery out and see. Slides out here. You see even the color scheme here is designed to match the, uh, the Steam Deck logo, sort of like this. So yeah, it slides on like that. And then you can pop this in the battery right here like that and then it goes right across to the steam deck like so all right and it's that simple and it looks like it's already 75 percent full which is nice i have had the steam deck on and i'll probably show you guys a little bit of what my setup is at the moment so it looks like yeah it already is charging right there and i guess it with this um, battery it actually fast charges so uh, it's basically as good as being plugged into the wall. So let me see how this works here. If I push the button, okay, you double click it and it turns off. Single click it, it turns on. Here's that that's it. If it's any more specific than that in the instructions, I'll find out later, but seems about that simple. And so you can see, I already have set up the uh, Steam Deck over the past few days. We have a few things going on in there, but I think I'm gonna actually put it in docked mode and show you guys a little more up close and personal what I've been doing to set it up. Alrighty, so now I've got my Steam Deck hooked up in docked mode, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a look at uh, how things have been looking after setting up for a few days. All right, so you can see uh, I've got a little smattering of things here. Some of these games have been downloaded, some haven't, but you'll also notice that there's a few uh, non-Steam items in here. So I'll sort of show you around a little bit. So let me actually go to the Steam menu. I've actually got a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard connected. Uh, let me just hit library here. Uh, so what do I have installed is, of course, I've got my Doom stuff, you know, and other id software type games here. Here's Desk Job, sort of the Valve program that comes with the uh, Steam Deck. I have yet to test that out in handheld mode, uh, but I guess it kind of shows off all the potential controls. Uh, but I also have non-Steam games included here, and so uh, I was able to get uh, some emulators working, as you can see. Also, uh, outside of the emulated stuff, I also got uh, ZDL working so I can get modded Doom going. Uh, and I also managed to get um, something that will connect to my Xbox Series X so that I can actually uh, do remote play with that. Uh, that took a while to get set up, but uh, it is working now. And so there you have it. Uh, and then uh, also breaks things down in terms of collections. And then there's also uh, shows you what works really well with the deck. Uh, definitely got to get the portal games working on here. And uh, maybe I will try Firmament and Mist. Uh, I guess those are Steam Deck certified. This is probably the most centralized I've had a lot of my games. One other thing I'd like to get set up at some point maybe is um, the Force Engine with Dark Forces. Although uh, this is Linux based and so it's not gonna work as easily until uh, something a little more compatible is released in one of the updates, which uh, is uh, kind of being talked about a little bit, but we'll see about that. Um, yeah, so uh, if you got any tips as to other things that I should do uh, with the Steam Deck, then uh, let me know. Um, and you know, might be able to do some live streams where I show off a little bit more of this, but uh, until then, uh, there you have it. There's uh, the unboxing, some of the assembly, and some of what I've been up to in setting it up over the past few days. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video, and we'll see you around in the next one. Thanks for watching.